I hope they do right by him um, and sign him long term. He's proven his worth on his team, not just tonight, but just his, his ability to be able to stick around and change games. I thought he single-handedly changed the energy, changed the momentum of the game tonight and when he got that win for him. Doc was saying that the first five minutes of that third quarter was something you want to target for, put them away, essentially. What did you feel like kind of that slipped away in that first few minutes of the third? Just a couple mental mistakes. Um, a couple mental mistakes. We, um, we messed up our first play coming out of the huddle, um, coming out of the half. Um, that led to us giving up a three. You know, that's a, that's a swing and momentum. And then after that, you know, you know you got the lead. You know, you're trying to play catch up and trying to get that energy back. And I thought they want to upswing, we want to downswing. So. Vince Carter hanging it up after 22 seasons in this league. What kind of legacy do you feel he leaves behind on the NBA? It's, it's just it's so interesting that you know he's played with so many different group of guys. You know, I think a lot of the young guys, especially the guys in, in the Hawks organization, um, you know, they should be they should feel blessed to have him around. You know, the dude is a he's a walking statue, walking icon, um, future Hall of Famer to stick around and you know and make plays tonight. You know, and so he's not just. He's not just here for the fun of it. He's still making a difference in the game. And so it's just an iconic career, man, that we all kind of, we all wish for in this league. Your second dunk of the year. How do you, how do you rate that one in traffic? I made a shot, so that was cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, rare air for me at this point in my career, you know, for me to, you know, dunk the basketball. So it felt good. I thought it was going to kind of get me going after that, unfortunately. Thank you. Appreciate it.